So, welcome back, and in today's video, we are going to be doing something which is going to be the same as one of my other videos, or should I say most of my videos, however, it's actually going to be one of the last, because today we are just going to be doing a pure riding video. So you know that I do many riding videos which are called POV videos, so that's where I have the gimbal on my chest, the camera, and so on. Anyway, today we are going to be going to Bacton Woods. Now, Bacton Woods is also a bit of a dying trend, because in Norfolk, as you know, it's the flattest county, we don't have many riding spots. We have Bacton, we have Waybourne, we have Thetford, which technically isn't in Norfolk, and we have a couple of others. But that's about it. And Bacton Woods used to be a home to great single track, hidden throughout the forest, and don't get me wrong, it is now. There are some great trails there. However, not many people who live in Norfolk actually ride there, therefore don't keep the trails maintained, so it's only down to a select few. And yeah, I hope they don't go because they're great trails. But yeah, we're going to be going there today. We're going to be doing some riding, see how the trails ride. And yeah, so let's jump into it. Oh, sorry. First time out on the bike in eight weeks today. So I'm trying out a new setup today. So I've got the GoPro Hero 8 on the gimbal. Resuming. I actually know where this goes, but So here, it's mainly a mixture of off-piece trails. Super slippy, really, really slippy. Not often we get a trail like this in the midst of Norfolk. So oh, it's quite good fun. And I've just noticed the jump. Resuming. Right, and then now we go down. Just watch out for the hidden stump. Resume. Straight over here. So these aren't biking trails. Pausing. These are just walking trails. Resuming. Left here. Up the step up. Round this way. Round the burn. Oh, man, these are good. Whoever builds these walking trails. This is great fun, I tell you. Oh. So I haven't done this one yet. Ah, 
Ah, that's better. That one sets you up. I don't need to go down there. Then I have to go all the way back up. Same line again. I'll bite this time. We're going to go from the start right through to the finish. So this section here is really, really tight. You know, the trees and the handlebars don't fit through. Ah. Over the sketchy boardwalk. So this isn't really a fast trail, but more of a fun trail. Right, I've got to go for it, I've just got to go for it, I've got to go for it. Resuming. Oh, hey. So I remember that jump all too well. Much better. I nearly lost that. I very, very nearly lost that. Refueled up and we've just had lunch. Yes, you might be wondering if it's a bit dark, considering we've only just had lunch. And that is because back in woods is dark anyway. But also because it's winter. Stump there. So this trail is a bit overgrown I think not overgrown sorry yeah leafy that same thing last time where I slipped off Yeah, that one's easy. 
There's a bridge here. There you go. This one's a bumpy one. Just a tad bit overgrown. This is what goes into making a video when you're trying to get the shot. A lot of walking and repeating the same trail when you're shattered, like I am. Review. this video I hope it was okay so yeah that was one of the last full riding videos I'm ever going to do so of course I'm going to do them in the future but they're just going to be a bit different they're going to have a purpose behind them or a meaning behind them but anyway it was a great ride it was cold but it was absolutely fine there was loads and loads and loads of trails there at Bacton more so than when we went last year and that downhill trail was great the bomb hole was great there's uh, there's a bit a lot of leaves in there but it was okay so I definitely want to go back soon, definitely want to ride the trails again, and yeah, I really liked it there, so I definitely don't think it's dying there, like I said in the start of the video, I definitely don't think that's the case anymore, but I think that place has the real potential to be somewhere special within Norfolk, and to potentially be the mountain bike capital of Norfolk, but it'll take work, of course, you have to cooperate with the local forestry commission who don't want to cooperate, so who knows, but anyway, great trails. Great walking trails there, I mean they were great walking trails because they're not designed for bikes, they're designed for walking. But anyway, thank you very much for watching, make sure to subscribe, like and comment. A big thank you for 600 subscribers, I really appreciate it. Let's try and hit 700 soon, so we can hit that 1000 mark even sooner. Thanks for watching, and right, let's go ride. <laughs>